Hello, this is Dave from MeRC, and it's been a while since I did a build video. So I think what I'm going to do is build this E1S Eagle right here. And I want to thank Andrew Newton for doing a review on the larger one. He did the 1.4 meter Eagle on his channel. But I decided to go with a smaller one because if you look at the hardware that comes with it, it comes with this 8 inch prop which is the same prop that's on my combat planes that I fly quite a bit. So I can use the same power system on this that I do on my combat planes and that's kind of handy because I didn't want to have to buy all new parts and I've got all the parts for these so I'll just go ahead and use that making it kind of easy and less expensive. Why not just use what you have on hand, right? You don't always have to buy all new stuff. If you're familiar with a certain power system and you know it works well and it's balanced, why not just go with that and save yourself a lot of trouble? Okay, so I think to build this, I'm actually going to use some of the hints that are or tips that are on RC Groups. There's a great RC Groups thread on this and both sizes, the 1.2 and the 1.4. And I'll put a link to that under the video so that you can see how to follow up on some of the questions you might have if I don't answer them. There's one guy on there, and if you take a look at this picture, he's actually reinforced the nose of this eagle. The 1.2 meter has a slight problem with the nose being fragile, and so he's put some plywood, thin plywood, on the inside of the nose. And I think I'm going to do that and maybe use some of his other tips that you see here on the page. I'm really not doing a box opening because I've already taken everything out of the box. There's nothing in there. But we will look at what we have on the bench. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And this will be a series. I'll be building this in several parts and then finally having a flight video. So that's kind of my style. Okay, now let's look at the parts just spread out on the bench to get an idea of what we have. All right, here's what we have. So first of all, we did get a small manual, very small. Looking at the overall view of the Eagle, you can see that the CG is at 50 millimeters, approximately 50 millimeters back from the front edge of the wing. It's on RC group, so there shouldn't be a problem. Here's the bag I showed you earlier that has some spars, some dowels, a motor mount, and you'll see the rubber bands to hold the wing on, the prop, and a few screws, and, and the uh, control horns right there. So that's what's in that. You might have noticed that this wing that comes in this kit is all one piece, except for a little piece that goes on the front as a decoration to give it like the wing bone look. A bird has a little bone that sticks out a little bit, a little bend there, so it has those little things. But generally the wing is just one piece. And also, you might note that there's no ailerons on this model at all. I think there is on the larger one, but the smaller one has no ailerons. So if I want to add ailerons, I'm going to have to make a cut here and a bevel and then hinge this back surface to add ailerons. Not sure I'll do that, but it's just a thought that I might want to add that. Each wing looks like this, and then you have a winglet with feathers on it that goes on the end right there that you have to glue on. Gives it that nice eagle look. It's a V-tail, so you have two pieces like this to form the V-tail. And by the way, that piece of wood that was in there is a triangle shape to hold the V-tail shape. Okay, so that's those. And then, of course, this is the eagle body right there. Those are the two sides of it. And then there's a piece like this, and then a couple other filler pieces. And this is the frame that goes inside right here, the wooden frame. And the control rods for the servos. Okay, so that's all the pieces. So this kit actually has one improvement over the previous versions of it. I guess they've made the realization that you need more wood sticking out here on the reinforcement tray, which is this thing right here. And zooming out here, we take a look at the new improved one. Instead of ending right here, it goes all the way out to here. But I think I'll still go ahead and put the plywood reinforcement 
on the beak part right here just to be safe so that the foam doesn't break. In planning to mount the motor, which would go right about in here, I noticed that this kit didn't come with like another divider right here that goes into these notches or a motor mount or some kind of firewall. It didn't come with that. It did come with this right here, which doesn't have the tabs to lock in that. So this piece here has to go towards the front, but it can't lock into that because it doesn't have the tabs. Now the kit calls for a 2212 1000 kV motor. I'm going to use this Sunny Sky. This is a 980. I think 980 is close enough to 1000. And it's also a 2212, so it's very similar. Plus Sunny Sky is the Japanese bearings that run very smooth. I use a lot of these motors, different kV, different sizes. But they're very smooth running motors. So this was also noticed by... RC Model Geeks on their channel, they had the same kit that somebody gave them and they had the same issue that there was no firewall right here at all and they had to make one up. In addition to that, when they placed their motor, and I got the same problem, if I placed the motor right up against that, I couldn't get the prop on because the beak sticks out too much. So they had to build a little box to get that motor out far enough to put the prop on. Probably I'll have to cut a piece of plywood like they did to fit in these notches and glue right up against this and maybe have a box that comes out here that has the right angle. This has to be pitched down a little bit and also pitched to the side a little bit so the box that they built was already built to take care of that or to accommodate that. So I'll probably have to do something there. That's just my thoughts because the kits do not come with that special firewall or motor mount box. I'm going to get started on building it in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And you can comment under this video whether you think this is a worthwhile project or not. Maybe you're not interested in the Eagle. I don't know. But I think it'll be kind of cool. Uh, get it up there soaring around, looking just like a bird. It'll be fun, just like having a little glider or something. I hope to get long flight times out of it. And uh, I hope that it'll be a very relaxing type of thing to fly. So stay tuned, and we'll be moving on to the next video soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you have a chance. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon that gives you the notifications. That would be nice.